So here in the fry bin to still in the morning. Let's get some light in my face, light in my face, light in my face. There we go. And we're going to head now to the Argentinian border, which is uh, cuántos kilómetros es la frontera con Argentina? Cinco, diez. Y cuánto para Buenos Aires? Para Buenos Aires tiene 250, 280 kilómetros. 280, almost 300 kilometers to Buenos Aires, and that's what we are going to do today. So, water ride to Argentina, and from there on, it will only be south. This time, absolutely just be riding south, and it'll be a while before we uh, get to a new country. So, let's go. Muchas gracias por todo y va muy bien, muy bien. Muchas gracias a usted. Let's go. And just when you think you're good to go, I realized, oh yeah, my rear brake was completely stuck, the lever, just like it was before, but even worse. So I bled the brake uh, line, new fluid, didn't help, which I thought wouldn't help. Fluid still looked relatively clear. Hopefully it's the brake lever that's really stuck. So I'm cleaning that really well right now. Still have some grease on me, so. And then again, I'm reminded of something that often pops up in the comments. Hi Pedro, why do you have so much stuff? Like I said before, I camp. I've got tools to get me out of trouble when there's no one there. Also carry spare parts and I carry maintenance consumables. So yeah, some of that takes a little bit of space. That's what you get when you go places. You have to solve trouble yourself. Now it's quite a public place, but you might end up in a situation where it's not so public and you're 100 kilometers into a desert and your brake is completely stuck onto your rear disc, for example. And you can't get it out. You can't move it out. What you're going to do? It's nice if you could solve it, so you could get the hell out of there, right? That is if you actually ride in places like that, or if you want to ride in places like that. If you don't and you stay on the main routes and the main off-road bits, you'll be fine. Most of the time. Works good as new. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Where, where are you from? Netherlands. You are a motor rider too? Yeah. Mario is the owner of the fuel uh, station. I don't speak it, but it's well. No, si, sí, pero la mejor idea de la gente no habla inglés. I was going, but my brake was stuck, so, uh, but now I fixed. Yeah. Como nuevo. It's a mechanic? No, I just fixed everything myself. People here have been very good. Uh, yeah, been very helpful. My wife. Could be, I'm not sure. And one woman, she gave me the internet to use, so, gracias. Muchas gracias, buen amigo. Buen viaje. Te va muy bien. Estoy en la orden. Puente Internacional. The International Bridge. Between uh, Uruguay and Argentina. Camiones, buses, autos. Where do motorcycles go? <laughs> Hola, buenas tardes. ¿Cédula de la moto? Sí, esa es uh, entrada de la moto, ese es pasaporte. Bien, viaje, Gracias. Bienvenido. ¿Tengo que dar este a alguien? Sí. Eh, a la, la Argentina. Cabina antes, la cabina de antes del viaje. Ah, es en Uruguay. Sí. Ah, ok. Lo próximo. Está. Está, ok. Gracias. Bien. Chao. Hola, buenas. ¿Todo bien? Hola, eh, comprobante de trámite. Es eso. Y no, te... Gracias. Y tengo que pagar alto. Vas a pagar. Sí, está todo listo. ¿Listo? Con pasaporte y papeles, todo bien. Todo bien. Ok, gracias. Vale, I think it's the first time I pay toll to cross the border. I think. 
Buenas tardes. Muy buenas. ¿De dónde sos? Holanda. De Holanda. De Holanda. Ah, hablas bien español. No, poquito. Un poquito. Sí. Now I uh, go oh. to Patagonia. The time is very cold. I know. But now menos cold. No, menos, menos. Two, three, three months. Yeah. And... Then it's really cold. <laughs> Good trip. Well, thank you. You got some big hands. <laughs> big strong hands, man. <laughs> Son las manos de papá, no? Yeah, manos. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. This dude's got rock solid hands. Dad hands. Very nice uh, friendship bridge. It's quite a bridge. Here it's still a river, but that goes to the sea over there, where we were looking over yesterday. That that bay. Well, it's not a bay anymore, but it's a huge bridge. Believe me. Ciao, ciao, Uruguay. Hasta luego, and now we're uh, entering Argentina, trying Argentina again. Let's see how it goes this time. I'm not sure if I have to go back there. Is there another building? Oh, Look at passport control? Antes del viaje. Okay, bueno, gracias. Just spoke to the truck driver. Everything is on that one side of the bridge. I love it when it's properly indicated like that. So we're going back, back to Uruguay. I told you I'll uh, be back. You have to pay again. Y ahora la otra vez tengo que pagar otra vez, no? Sí, claro. Yes, yes. All right, let's now get the Argentine paperwork done. Hola, buenas. Buenas tardes. Argentina, aquí, eh? All right, we just entered Argentina officially with the paperwork and all that. Nice. Ah, it's getting a bit hot. So that's good. Let's uh, try that again over the Friendship Bridge. Here you go. And then we're in it. We're riding down to Buenos Aires. Still got about 300 k's to do. Vámonos. Arriba. Hola. Yo estuve aquí antes. Sí. Sí, sí, yo estuve antes. Yo volví para resolver. Sí, gracias. Sí, no sabía que era todo aquí. Yo volví. No me puedes dejar. La, y la chica también me dice, no, yo pagué. Yo tengo, tengo que pagar tres veces. No digo nada. No digo nada, gracias. Sí, los hombres siempre entiendo. Las chicas no. <laughs> gracias. See, this is what I mean, bros, man. Bros. The bros know. The bros understand. Look, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. It's a bit of a principal thing. Rose. And here's an observation as we go over the Friendship Bridge that I've noticed even when I'm like in uh, places like Russia, you know? All my travels I found that most of the time it's guys who will understand a certain situation and be like, oh, okay, just go like that or do it like that we will breach protocol now the women almost never breach protocol overall they're not susceptible to the context of a situation but if they like you then it's a different story let's go Into Guale Guayushu. Guale Guayushu. Hey, look at this. No more roundabouts. Not in Uruguay anymore.
plástico? Ah, sí. It's okay. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. rojo es bueno. Ah. Is it? Uh, sort something out here in the center. And uh, it's a long time that I ago that I've had a run in with the law like that, asking me questions. Almost like I ran. Just got into Argentina and right away get to the important stuff. I didn't get a chip, a new SIM card in Uruguay. It was so small, but in Argentina, we're gonna be set up so we can get a lot of data too and uh, do some live streaming. Uh, and also while we're at it, a little bit of cambio, some change. What is it? All right, let's get back on the road. Coffee time, absolutely. How straight can you go, bro? Just straight, 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 straight. Since my brake pedal is so smooth now, it goes down way too far, actually. Get more happy campers. Yes, sir. Gracias. I was uh, legitimately uh, having trouble uh, beginning to uh, stay uh, stay awake. So long straights highways and a lot of motorcycles going to Uruguay to that thing in Mercedes where I was yesterday where uh, all the hotel rooms were booked so seems like a big deal I guess but I'm moving away I gotta go to Patagonia it's uh, we got only so many uh, balmy uh, warm days uh, left so Cycle on the list, so um, might be going through free as it should be. Saída de escapa, motocicleta. Hey, yeah, Alp. Argentina knows what's up to. Of Buenos Aires. Welcome to Buenos Aires. Smack in the city center. You need to find a place to stay. Bet there's a few of you watching right now. Like Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. I don't know. I don't know y'all yet. And you don't know yet that I'm here. Holanda. <laughs> Thanks, man. And I already know that uh, in Argentina. Nobody indicates. Very few do. Obelisk. Oh no! 
what have I done? What am I doing? Ah, wrong road. I need to figure out what we're doing. This section is like Madrid on steroids. Oh, and it's green. McDonald's will have internet. I got phone credit, but my internet ain't working yet. Now I'm in one of the main avenues. A little bit. Okay. Como? A serio? Como está? Todo bien? Grande. Como te llamas? Federico. Federico. Hola. Voy a una viaje. So they, uh, he follows me on YouTube. Pretty dope. That's amazing. So now I'm gonna find out where we are and where are we gonna go. Buenos Aires, another mega world city. Dope ass. I'm not a big fan of the cities, you know, I'm generally going into them, but mega cities, you know, the ones you heard about all your lives. First time, always something about it. And it's just hectic, especially nighttime entries. Hectic, brah, heaps hectic. Let's see, what are we doing? Pretty uh, majestic city so far. Best word I can find to describe it. Here we are. Hope the legends of parking are true. Smoker stayed here. Smell it. 